Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday devotional time. If you have your Bibles, turn to Matthew chapter 5, and I'll begin reading verses 1 through 12. I'm not going to read all the verses, but I'm going to read verses 1 through 2. And this title of this passage is the Beatitudes. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to speak. And taught them saying and thus we have the beatitudes blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are those who mourn blessed are the meek blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness blessed are the merciful blessed are the pure in heart for they will see god and i just skimmed over uh, those those verses and again you can read those yourself but as i was reading that passage I was thinking to myself, how do I know that I'm blessed in life? And how do you know that you are blessed? In the Greek language, the word blessed is pronounced makairos. And in Latin, the word blessed is beatus. So the question becomes, how do you know that you're blessed? First of all, being blessed is not a feeling, but it's a state of blessedness. And the definition of the word blessed, and this is from the Merriam-Webster uh, uh, Dictionary, and it's also, I looked up from the Oxford Living Dictionary, it says this, the definition of blessed. It says, enjoying happiness, bringing pleasure or contentment or good fortune. That was the Merriam-Webster. And then from the Oxford Living Dictionary, it says this, blessedness is defined as the state of being blessed with divine favor, in other words, God's blessings, God's favor upon you. You know, throughout my life, I've experienced sheer joy and sheer happiness, and I, and I know you have as well. And I've also experienced moments of pain and suffering and sorrow and hardships. And as Christians, I mean, you've heard me say this a number of times, we are not exempt from the pain and suffering in life. In the book of Ecclesiastes, one of my favorite passages from the Old Testament, it says this, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. You know, when you are living your life, you're gonna experience these, those great moments of joy and happiness, and just the opposite, you're gonna experience pain and suffering. And I can't help but think to myself what happened uh, just yesterday in Texas with all those children that were killed uh, by an 18-year-old boy, went in with a gun and killed, I think there's either 17, or I think it may be up to 19 children in third and fourth grade that, that were killed, and how uh, the parents of those children and grandparents and brothers and sisters, how they're mourning right now. You know, probably in the morning there was sheer joy and happiness. And later in the afternoon, there was just sheer pain and suffering. I want you to think about this thought for a moment. True blessedness is not a question of whether or not that we're going to have the difficulties in life to contend with. Because we all have those things to contend with in life. And the key to living a Christian life is living with the tension of the joy and the happiness and as well as the pain and suffering and hardships in life and realizing and knowing that you are a child of God and God is blessing you each and every day and God loves you so much that he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for you and because of your faith in Jesus Christ you will have everlasting joy of being in heaven with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and with others, your family, your friends. Uh, your, your church family members. They'll be with you in heaven forever. Will you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, we pray this day, this Wednesday, for the children who were, who were, who were killed in Texas, those who were killed in Buffalo. I mean, this mass shooting that's going on and the violence and the hatred in our culture and in our society is just so just devastating and horribly wrong. And we pray, Father, that you continue to watch over our school children, that you continue to watch over each and every one of us and just bless us and allow your blessedness to overflow in us, through us and around us and help us to realize with absolute certainty that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and one day we will see him face to face and that's blessedness. Will you join me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I pray that you have a blessed day and isn't the garden beautiful outside. See you tomorrow. My chains are gold.